Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing my completion review of this diamond painting below. Um, this is the original image. Um, I called it Rainbow Umbrella Girl. It's from Home Fun on AliExpress. I got it for $7.53. It's a 30 by 30 centimeters. Um, the glue is double-sided adhesive. It's square drills with DMC and there are 30 colors in all. And this took me two days to complete. So it was just a nice, quick, easy one to do after I had finished a really big one. So yeah, here it is. Isn't it? I mean, it's only a 30 by 30, so it is, it can be a little bit pixelated, but I think overall, I think it turned out well. And this, I just absolutely love diamond painting um, squares from Home Fun. I had zero problems with this. There is no, what do you call that, popping at all. There's very minimal gapping. Like, look at how, like, little gapping there is compared to some other ones. So, I really, really enjoyed this. I had pretty much no problems. I mean, there were a couple symbols. I did write some of the, I, some of the symbols were a little, like, when I show it to you, you'd be like, really? Why? So like six and nine were my main ones that really annoyed me. So six and nine, like seriously, they're both yellow. There's so many other colors on this thing, but these were both yellow. These I had to really think when placing them. Like, yeah, I tend to turn my diamond painting around depending on which part is closer. This one, since it is small, I ended up just turning it right side up when I was doing the six and nine to make sure I was doing the right one. But yeah, it's seriously, why couldn't one be like red or something? It would be very obvious. But, but yeah, that one and what did I say? Eight S and B. So eight and B also tend to be very hard to see. I mean, it was clear. I had no problem figuring out which one was 8 and B, but it does make you look at it longer just to make sure like you were diamond painting on the correct one. But yeah, no, this the symbols were very clear. This is more of my mind playing games with me trying to like if if you ever, you're when you're diamond painting, you're just kind of putting it on the first um, symbol that you see. And sometimes you have to make sure you're not like doing it too fast. Well, at least that's my problem. I tend to diamond paint too fast and sometimes I'm like, wait, that wasn't a B, that was an eight. But yeah, no, otherwise, beautiful picture. I had zero problems with this. Um, I highly enjoyed this, especially after working on a larger square diamond painting that had so much gapping that I just needed to do something that I knew would turn out great and be really colorful. So yeah, there is that. So. So now I'm just gonna cut this out and put it in my art portfolio so that now I'm done with this. So, so yeah. Um, I don't know when you'll see this. I don't actually put my, my completions in order of when I actually complete them. Um, I kind of, I kind of put, so right now I am, I do have a completion buffer, so I actually have, I believe, three other ones other than this one completed already that have not been posted on YouTube. That's just my way of making sure I have continuous content because, yeah, I don't know if I could keep up putting uh, one finish a week unless I had a buffer um, because I don't always work on small ones that take me only a few days to do. I sometimes do big ones. So I need, I need the buffer to finish my bigger ones. Um, but yeah, I've so far this, I'm, I'm recording this on president's day. What is that? February 15, 2021. So you might not see this until probably March. Um, but yeah, um, I do need the posting buffer just so that I have continuous content, like I said, and and plus I kind of switch around how I put like the order that I put my completions in just because I think I went on like a crazy flower binge 
in the beginning of the year so I actually did a, like a whole bunch of flower diamond paintings in a row and then I was like you know what I need to insert a non-flower painting in there so that I guess you guys don't get sick of the flower paintings even though I, I went on a flower painting binge so yeah I started being like okay I did like four flowers in a row I need to insert this other one that I did after so that you know they're not all flowers and then sometimes I had a kidding up too or I put a kidding up too early and I'm just like oh man I put that up too early I didn't finish it so sometimes I just be like okay I finally finished this I put the kidding up like four weeks ago so I need to actually show this completion because sometimes I, ha I kit up things and then I start it and then I think I'm going to finish it so I post the video and then I don't end up finishing it at any time soon so then yeah and then uh, things I kit up later I end up doing before things I had kitted up earlier so yeah I'm trying to put up my kitting up videos when I think they're going to be completed in a timely manner but that doesn't always happen so, yeah. Okay, getting my art portfolio. It's actually getting very full. Like, look at this. I'm, I'm not even, I haven't even like filled this up halfway. So I'm probably not going to end up filling it up completely because it's already very full. But yeah, no, I'm not even halfway. This thing had like 40 sleeves, I think. So yeah. Um, so I'm not, I usually put this stuff on a black background, but since um, this is a 30 by 30, it's, it's already a tight fit in here with the 30 centimeter width. So yeah, I'm not gonna put it in the black background and that might add extra width. I mean, I could probably cut a row of diamonds on the edge, but I just can't do that. It's like, I spent so much time diamond painting this that I can't cut up a row. But yeah, there it is um, in my art portfolio, ready for me to frame if I ever decide to frame this. All right. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.